Race to zero. This version of this game involves subtraction. The goal of the game is to be the, the player that either reaches zero or closest to zero in the fewest amount of turns. The focus of this game is on subtraction using strategies based upon place value, including the decomposition of numbers. The game reinforces the importance of flexibility when working with numbers. For this game, all you'll need for materials are paper, some pe a pencil, and that's simply for recording where you are. We're going to use a deck of cards. You may also use a six-sided die, a 10-sided die, a 20-sided die. We're going to use our deck of cards. Our deck of cards has all face cards and tens removed with the exception of the ace. Aces are going to represent one in this game. So to start by playing the game, we've already decided upon our, our goal here. Our goal is to reach zero. The number we're starting with is 500. Each player is going to draw two cards and build a two digit number. So here you go, take your two cards, please. I'm gonna turn right. this down so you can see the game. I got a nine and a three. So the smart move for me would to um, would be to do a 93 because that is the greater number. Okay, so now we're going to record 500 and we're thinking 500 minus 93. How are we going to get to that answer? One way to do it is just to subtract the whole thing since it's quite simple. But another way to do it, if you want to break it up more, is... Um, make it into a 90 and a 3. I'm just going to do it with the whole 93. So you you could do um as I said you could do 500 minus 93 500 minus 90 and 5 and then minus 3. And that's one way to do it. I'm doing it with a whole. And so if you were to do it that way, it would be 100. So you'd have 110 after you subtract the 90. And then you take away that 3, which is 107. He means 407. Four, 407. Great. And if being flexible with numbers, if I'm removing 93 from 500, well, 93 is really close to what benchmark number or what landmark number? 93 is really close to 100. Well, 500, if I remove 100 from 500, I'm at 400. But I removed seven too many, so I'll just add my seven back in there, I'm at 407. Again, this game reinforces the importance of flexibility and um, subtraction through strategies based upon place value. We're gonna play a couple more here. I'm gonna choose my cards. So I'm at 500 and I choose, I have an 85. Well, I'm gonna take my 85 and I'm gonna decompose that into an 80 and a five. So now I have 500 minus 80 minus five. So 500 minus 80 is 500 minus 80 is 420 minus five more is 415 and I will record that I have 415 so if we were looking really quickly after one round who's closest to zero I have 415 he has 407 who's closest to zero that would be me that would be you how much closer are you than I am you have I have 415. Then I would be eight closer. Because you are the simple eight fact closer. is seven closer. You are eight closer. All right, so we're gonna play just a really quick round. Again, the, game, the, the object of the game is to get the closest to zero or zero in the fewest amount of turns. So our next turn is your two cards. Here's my two cards, go ahead. Oh. Um. I, so I got a three and a two. That's the best I could do is 32. And then 
one way is to the way I'm going going to be doing it is breaking up the 32 into a 30 and a 2 like this so you have 405 if you subtract the 2 first from the 407 and makes it easy to then just do 30 or you can do it the to just to just to subtract 30 or you could do it the other way around and the answer is the answer is 375 great great being flexible i'm going to take my last turn of 375 and i pulled up an ace which I know is one and a seven, so I'm gonna build a number 71. So now I'm at 415, 415 minus 71. Or I might think rethink about that and say, well, how am I going to decompose my number? 415 minus 71 is kind of a messy number. So I might think about taking my numbers apart and I might say, well, 415, if I broke my 71 into a 15 and a 56. So 415 minus 15 minus 56. Well, 15 and 56 is still 71. 415 minus 15 is 400. Minus 50 is 350, minus six more is 344. I'm at 344. Now, if we're comparing really quickly, I'm at 344. He's at 375. Who is closest to zero? You. Now I am, cl I now I am closest to zero. This game is called race to zero. The game would continue until one of us got as close to zero or got zero. As the game continues, you might find that you cannot go any longer because you can't go below zero. So it is the closest to zero without going below zero. If you like the if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're not if you're not if you're not already subscribed. Great. Thank you very much. This is the Elementary Math Resource and you can find us at Facebook at the Elementary Math Resource.